Rebecca Bullen and I'm here at Mission Road to Uganda, Africa. And as we're coming up on our one year anniversary since God gave us this place, I, I thought it would be fun for me to tell you some miracle stories and also to show you some of the miracles God has done in the last year. So join me. So one of the first miracles God did was we needed a fence to protect our children and also to um, keep the raiders out because before God gave us this place, the children were in danger from raiders stealing their food, their animals, also stealing their vegetables in their garden. So they had no garden and no more animals and they would e the, the raiders would even break into their storeroom and steal their beans and rice. So we were praying for a fence and at first we thought maybe God would just give us a smaller fence just for the compound, but we really wanted to fence the 75 acres that was given to this place to Mission Moroto by the villagers, chiefs. And um, so we just started praying and saying, God, we really wanna do the whole 75 acres. We don't wanna just do a little bit of it. Will you please give us the funding to fence the whole property? And God answered and you can see our beautiful gate and our fence and now our children are blessed with having vegetables and um, greens in their garden. And God is just really, showed up for us in ways we couldn't even imagine. So the next miracle I want to talk about was when we first came here in January, two of the houses, there's four children's houses were built at the time, and two of them weren't livable because this roundhouse here needed a new roof because of the termites had eaten it. And then one of the other houses that I eventually turned into girl, having girls live there, needed a door, the door to be replaced. And also we were able to fill the houses with beds and immediately start taking on desperate children that needed to be rescued in the villages. And uh, God's just done so many miracles here and has crazily blessed us. And I can't even tell all the stories, but one of them I'm gonna tell about is Two of the children that we rescued were up in the mountains with a, their grandmother. There was five, she had five children to care for all on her own. And uh, we were able to take on four of the children from her. And little morning here is one of them. Say hi. Say hi. Good Say morning. Good morning. <laughs> and little, not, uh, little Thomas here is the other one. Say hi. <laughs> so but because of being able to repair the houses that God allowed us to and finish my house the one I'm living in we were, God's just done so much through giving us more space and having beds we were able to buy beds and mattresses for all of our new children and it's just been incredible what he's done we've taken on 33 children because of being able to just repair the buildings we already had and so I'm going to real quickly show you the inside of the girls house here before we move on to our next miracle that God has done so this is our girls house and uh, as you can see there's bunk beds and it's very nice but this one the, the ladies were weren't able to stay in because the door needed to be welded back on and God allowed us to do that through all of your guys' support so thank you so much so I wanted to tell you a couple stories of some of our rescues our, this is my first rescue Joshua <laughs> and, be and behind him is Kim, one of our newest rescues. Kim and his brother Michael were uh, in the village, um, and their mother had just recently died, and they were all uh, they were hungry. And uh, Michael was very sick with malaria because nobody was there to take care of them. And so we were able to uh, come over and pick them from the village and bring them here, and they're doing so much better. And uh, there's Emma in the front. And uh, you can see most of our kids, Patricia here, and and here's uh, Thomas again, little Thomas. So <laughs> you can wave. Hi. <laughs> so um, just uh, wanted to introduce you to some of the our rescues. And this is Moses here, and all the little kids. Where God knows where we we picked them from, and uh, I'm praying one day they will be able to tell their story to the world. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so one of the craziest miracles God has done in the last uh, six months is he's given us this amazing dining hall that we're calling Grace Hall um, for our children to eat in. Um, up to this point, the children have been eating their food on their porches or when it rains inside their house, which is not sanitary. And we were praying like crazy that God would give us a place, a nice place for them to eat, you know. Um, and they're still working on it, but we're almost finished, excuse me. So, uh, 
but you can see how huge it is. We were, we were planning on maybe just something for our, the immediate kids we have, but God told us to dream big, so we started praying, and God allowed us to build this building that will house at least 100, probably 150 children with tables. We're still praying for the tables and the benches, but I'm so excited to show you our kitchen that's almost finished, where our ladies will be able to cook because right now they're they're cooking in um, they're cooking in a like a little shed, and uh, they they really need a nice place to cook their meals. So they're still working on it. But here's our kitchen. Those those four holes that you see will be our uh, where our fire where the fire places are for the ladies to cook, and uh, they've get, we have these beautiful. Um, beautiful countertops that, uh, where they can cut their vegetables and prepare the food. And um, we have a very nice storeroom we'll be able to house our food in to keep away. And it's going to be enclosed, so it'll be keep the mice and everything away from eating our food. So God has just crazily blessed us. And I can't even th say thank you enough for everyone who helped us build this dining hall. And I can't wait for our, when, um, when they're finished building the kitchen that we will be have our first meal here. We're having our church services and our family prayers in here right now, but I can't wait for our first meal. And please pray with us about um, the benches and the tables that we need for our children. So one thing I forgot to mention about the dining hall was God not only built it, but he allowed us to um, put solar panels on the tops and electrify it. And because of that, our, now our children's houses are able to have power inside and a porch light, which the children are extremely happy about. And uh, we just want to say thank you for everything you guys have allowed us to do by listening to the Lord and helping us with all, you know, to care for these children that nobody else can and uh, uh, care for. Thank you so much. So in January, when we came to visit, before I moved here in February, we thought that God would do a crazy miracle if he only allowed us to uh, build our fence to protect the kids. But God not only did that and the dining hall that I just showed you, but he also has allowed us to drill a second well that will be motorized so that we can have running water in our houses. And you can see in the background there that they're, di they're digging the foundation for the tower so we can have our water tanks. And I just can't even express how grateful I am for everything God has done and uh, all the support from back home. And the, you know, I, I've, God has really taught me to just say yes. And if he wants to do it, he's going to do it. And this is his project. I'm just here to lead it as best as he allows. Me. So the last crazy God story I want to tell you is about um, our new children's houses and our boys bathroom. So I've been praying about for a while that we needed a new bathroom for the boys because the girls and the boys have to share right now. And it's just a very small space for all of our children. And so we started praying about that and God answered that right away. But then um, we put a story on Facebook about two little children that um, their grandmother brought us and asked to leave at our place because their mother had recently died and we didn't have any space for them. We couldn't, there's literally no beds to, any space for beds at all. So we started praying for a children's house and God has answered and we have our first new children's house is being built and because of uh, the generosity and all the work we've given our our laborers the last six months they've decided to go ahead and build the second children's house and just wait for the funding to come in so we're praying for the funding for that and uh, i'm so grateful that we have allowed god has allowed us to feed the workers children's by giving them um you know jobs because there was no jobs right now and because of uh, our generosity they've they've decided to be generous with us and work on credit so we're praying that we'll be able to pay the, our workers by the time they're finished building the house and we're just praying for god to answer that prayer and we thank you so much for all your prayers and support and we're just looking forward to seeing what God does in the next six months because he's way out that did his did what we thought was possible in the, this last six months and the last thing I want to say is all the boys in the background that are chattering up watching me video are our older boys who are learning so many life skills by working with our day laborers and our our, our builders and I'm just so grateful for everything God has done, even though they can't be in school right now because of COVID lockdowns, they can, they're learning things that they would have never learned otherwise.